Yo, what up everyone? Haven't made a vlog in so long, but <laughs> it's been, what, been on the road for like 20 days and finally got back to New York. So pretty much I just kind of summarize everything. I have like so much to say. I don't know if I can fit it all uh, in one vlog. But first and foremost, um, I'm really sorry to all the fans that we underperformed at Worlds when it really, really mattered. Um, everything just went wrong. And there are certain things within my control as a player um, and as an individual. And then there are also other things that's completely out of my control. Um, I feel like I achieved I achieved like I eh, decently I guess I did decently this year as a player and TSM has gained a lot of success throughout the entire year but we failed to finish it off strong which is a shame um, and going into season 3 I want to Hmm. I want to be better, but that is going to be limited by, like, I want to win season three, obviously, but it's going to be limited by the amount of good practice that we can get as a team, which can potentially be good or can be terrible. Um, compared to the other scenes, because Asians right now are just so strong, mainly because they they just practice every day. Like they're so focused on purely getting better at the game. They don't worry about streaming. They don't worry about like sponsorship. Like they just worry about winning. And they practice and scrim each other like crazy. Like they're, they just that's all they do. That is their lives. And it's it's just unreasonable to expect non-Asians to do that. I guess. Um. So season three, if the NA scene picks up, and I don't know, we actually, since we are getting salary or eight teams are, and we can fully or those eight teams are supposed to be able to fully dedicate themselves to League, it, it's still hard to fully, fully dedicate yourself to League um, just because of the culture. Um, I mean, it's much more socially acceptable in Asia to play games. And esports is like already a thing, specifically in Korea, but even in China, and like it's a huge, huge deal. But in the U.S., it's still kind of frowned upon, and it's rough when you're dedicating yourself to something that's frowned upon by your peers and just by people in general. Granted that it's still gaining a lot of recognition, and Riot is really, really pushing for it. Um, it's going to be really, really hard for an NA team to win season 3, I think. And TSM had a really good chance of winning season 2. Um, I still think Taipei Assassins are by far um, the best team, and they really deserved it. They played like on another level compared to other teams at the tournament. So props to them. Um, and I've also voiced my opinion already to all of you that read Reddit about the cheating fiasco, like with the Zuba Frost, um, and I also streamed that. Gosh, I'm just like so scattered right now. Like, I'm just thinking about everything that happened. I guess I'll go like chronologically. Um, we went to the Curse Mansion about 
on I forgot. Let's see, September no. Yeah, it was like September twenty seventh, something like that. I went to the curse house and we finally are back uh October fourteenth. Um Went to the curse curse house, we chilled for a bit, then we we scrimmed a decent amount, a fair amount against Dig and Toss. Played a tiny bit against Curse and then scrimmed mainly Dig and Toss. And then um where I was like getting to the point where I was just like tired of scrimming. We had like we had set strategies that we we're gonna use and that we were super comfortable with. Um and confident with as well. Which actually never got to play at Worlds, which is kind of a shame. Um, so, hmm, we did that, then we went to the event, like this is like nothing interesting pretty much, because we're all just getting like hyped up, getting ready for Worlds, so we're just completely focused on that. We go to the event, um, we check out the place, and there's an area, f VIP area for all the players, and we just like um, hung out with some players, and then we ended up scrimming against like M5, against Wii, uh, IG, uh, for a tiny bit. And that was for two or three days. And going into the, the Azubu Frost match, we were we planned like uh, it's gonna go down tonight. I guess I'll explain it again. We we planned a lot for our level one. Um specifically we knew that they're going to ward top, like their top lane and support is gonna go top and they're gonna ward it because they've done it four games or like some, like three games back to back. And we planned around pretty much getting that first blood. And it's just they cheated and then they found out and you cannot underestimate how that impacted our morale. Um, lost to Frost, and I don't know. I was fairly disappointed. Mm, that I dedicated so much, like a year, and. I really expected uh, myself to be like to do better, and I expected uh, it's gonna be really cocky, but the team I was on to be better. But we got fifth to eighth place in the world, and TSM as a whole throughout the year, throughout the entire year, like we've won so many events. It's just a shame, like dumb stuff happened at the one that mattered most. Um, we lost and I was pretty upset and I just hung around at the curse house as most of you know. Um, I just streamed there for a bit, drank there for a bit, um, went to the gun range, you know, shot guns for the first time, which is pretty cool. Um, we shot a magnum pistol and an assault rifle. I really like the assault rifle. Um, gosh, what else happened? Ooh. Played magic with like the guys, um, the IGN guys, and some curse guys. Uh, really cool dudes. Like <laughs> half half the there's like 30 people at the curse mansion, and we had like eight people just playing magic, just sitting there playing magic. Everyone else was off doing their own stuff. So. Dude, screw that. If you have fun doing something. And like randomly people walk by with like alcohol in their hands and be like, Well, you guys are playing magic. And we'll be like, Cheers. Yes, we are. Um, that was really fun. Um, really excited for Return to Ravnica. Coming out on MTG Go. God, I'm just like so scattered. I, I was like considering writing everything down. Like before doing this vlog, but so much stuff happened that it's, it's like I'm just gonna mumble on for a while. Um, I, we, we had a meeting as a team, and season three is gonna be 
season three is gonna be different. Like I think we learned a lot from season two, and it was it, it's like lessons that we'll never forget. Um, for me personally, like playing things we're comfortable with. That's something that we've learned so many, so many times. Like play champions that you practice. Um, and it sounds so simple, right? Just play champions that you practice in scrims, but we didn't manage to do that. Like, mm, what else? What else? Gosh, I'm just getting like sad again, reminiscing about all this. Um, surprisingly, I didn't get like wasted <coughs> that many times. Um, I just was like kind of just chilling around in the curse house, trolling people, streaming. Mm, there's like way better food in LA compared to where we live here in Lindenhurst. Like, Grubhub has like hundreds of options in uh, from Curse Mansion, whereas there's only like ten options here. So, uh, my gosh, ate some good food, just hung out with cool people, hung out with Ocelot, really cool, Strox, both from SK, hung out with um, CLGU, chilled with them, talked a lot with uh, the Asian teams, like we, IG, uh, had lunch with uh, IG, they're really cool guys. And, And, I don't know, that week leading up to the finals was, I guess, kind of bittersweet. Oh, actually, no, it was, like, really frustrating, actually. I was like, damn it, I wish we were in the finals. I was just, like, reminiscing about losing, or just, like, thinking it over and over and over, over and again. Like, what could have gone better? What went wrong? Um, and then... Season two finals at the Galen Center was just amazing. Like, yeah, I hope everyone watched that. It was crazy. Like the numbers are crazy. Like so many millions of viewers, like three million concurrent, something like that. So that's just insane. Um, they had like a live orchestra in between the two teams. They had like they they sang the entire like League of Legends intro. Oh my god, that was I have that recorded on my phone. That was super exciting. And then um, I was watching, what you call it, the Toys' interview, or Toys' introduction. And he was just like, yeah, um, I just really respect McNoon, even though we beat him. Like, he's like one of, the few, one of the players I respect the most. And I don't know, seeing like, just like the camaraderie and just the rival rivalry camaraderie just like he has come so far because he introduced himself as like 2k yellow player and he thought he was pretty good but then he played against McDoon and just like got owned and he's like wow so there's much better players out in the world and I want to be better I want to be the best and you know what he's up there and toys played so well and just you know what he is the best and that just inspired me. That just like inspired me so much. Uh, I actually like cried, and I got pretty emotional about it. And I was like, if there's players like that out in the world that I'm gonna compete against, I'm gonna give it my all. Like, I'm gonna be the best of that. Like, the best that I can be. And I'm gonna try and be the best too. Like that really touched me. That I, I feel like I connected with Toys because he did what I couldn't this year, and I don't know. It, it's kind of saddening that I might like I really want to dedicate myself and win season three, but it it really a lot of it as as I said depends on how the end of the scene develops. But I don't know. Time will tell. 
I was just really inspired by that, and just I texted everyone on the team. It's like, damn yeah, man, we gotta win season three. Um, anyways, the like the finals was awesome. Just awesome play by TPA. Um, they pretty much won every single game, early game, and even the first game where they lost, um, they should have won that. And you know, they just came back and just like fixed their minor error mistakes. Just they played more calm, uh, more solid, and just more steady, slow and steady. Um, and they just won naturally. And it's just like great League of Legends. Like I thought, I just thought TPA played so well, like really beautifully. So I was pretty excited about that. Mm, just watching the games. Uh, I don't know. Now that we're back um, in New York, we ha we get about a week to just. I mean, you see all the boxes behind me, so we get to pack, just throw away a lot of things, and we're moving to SF. Um, moving to an address that I will not disclose. <laughs> um, I think my parents are coming over in like two days, so I have to say goodbye to Chow Mom and Chow Dad. That's gonna be sad. And yeah, this is like pretty epic update of my life. I actually have a pretty cool story that I'll I'll share next time, next vlog, um, about a cab ride that I had. Um, I actually had like so many cab rides. Holy crap! Pretty sure I spent over six hundred dollars in cab fees that rival reimburse. But yeah, I mean. Like 15 days in LA without a car, yeah, gets pretty expensive. Um, so that's all. I'm pretty sure I'm like forgetting so many things, but I don't know. This is just like an impromptu vlog. I just felt like doing and sharing with everyone. So peace out. Look forward to the next vlog. It's actually a pretty sick story, cabaret story. So peace.